We're finding that more and more students are coming into school at year seven with low reading ages. In order to access the curriculum in secondary school, you need a reading age of 10 plus. And some of the children's reading age can be as low as five or six. You are a Lily Libbard, action taking knave, a Orson, glass gazing, super finical rope, one trunk inheriting slave, one that wouldest be a board in a in way of good service and art nothing but the confession of a knave beggar coward panda and these and the son of an there of a mongrel bitch we we encourage volunteers to come and and pair up with a, a reader your common cry of curse whose breath i hate as reek of rotten fins, whose love I prize as the deaf carcasses of unburied men that do corrupt my air, I banish you. Tomorrow and tomorrow, and um, the creeps is a pity pace from day to day, the last symbol of recorded time, and our yesterdays have lightened falls, the dusty, the way to dusty death. Um, and, and they do enjoy Shakespeare. I have students that come to read and they choose the uh, abbreviated version. Can honour uh, stick to a leg? Can, no. Or an arm, no. Or take away the grief of a wound, no. Honour has no skill in surgery. No, what is honour? A word is, what is that in the word? Honour, what is that? Honour, air. Yeah. How I live to be carried in a basket like a bottle of butcher's awful and to be thrown in Thames. Well, if I'll be so, such another trick, I'll have my bread stained out and buttered and give them to a dog for a New Year's gift. Students read books that they wouldn't read normally, uh, become confident, happy readers, and this will um, show in their curriculum work as well. You have white lame walls, your alehouse painted signs, coal black is be better than another hue, in that is scorned to bear another hue. From all the water in the ocean can never turn to turn the swan's black legs to white, although she leave, leave them hourly in the flood. Who shall be flayed alive, then anointed over with honour, set on the head of wasps, nest, then stand till be three quarters and a dram dead, then recovered again with aquavitae or some other hot infusion. Then raw has he is, and in the hottest day, prognostication pro proclaims, shall he be set against a brick wall, the sun looking with a southward eye upon him, where he is to behold him with flies blown to death. If ever you have looked on better days, if you have ever been where bulls, bells have church, if ever sat at the good man's feast, if you ever from your eyelids whistle tears, and know what tears to tears, and has pierced pits, let grace be strong, force meant be. Paired reading gives the opportunity to talk with somebody about the meaning of the vocabulary and help their comprehension and inference. Are we not fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same disease, helped by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer, as a Christian is, if 
you prick us, do we not bleed? If we, if you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? O oh, tiger's heart wrapped in a woman's hide, how couldst thou drain the lifeblood of a child? To bid the fathers wipe his eyes with all, and yet be seen to bear woman's face. Women's are soft, wild, pitiful, and flexible. Those stern, barbaric, flinty, rough, and rim rimless. Now I remember the thick you served me when I took my madam saliva. Um, did bid thee still mark me, do as I do when I diss thou, and um, still hang up my leg, bake the water against the gentlewoman, fingle thy, dost thou ever be such thick?